The misconception that you need to be an expert on something in order for you to thrive in a collapse is not true. I shared with y'all a few, I would say a week ago, uh, a video, me cutting my wife's hair. Um, essentially, I, it, it was kind of like a, one of those things that uh, that uh, she asked me to cut her hair. And I have been cutting her hair now for, for a long time, for years now. Um, and, I, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to record this because I mentioned before that I cut my wife's hair. And I, I know for a fact that folks will, will be like... Yeah, you ain't doing that. That that is never gonna happen. I guarantee you that she may cut your hair, but you will never cut her hair, or she will never let you cut her hair. Well, it's the other way around. I cut my own hair because I don't have a lot. I cut Lass's hair, and I cut her hair. But the point to this is, I recorded it to show you that you don't have to be an expert on everything, but you have to be a jack of all trades. Where I come from, a third world country necessity made us um, become creative. In Cuba, it's one of those countries in the world that very old cars are still running. And they are still running because uh, the people there have become um, a jack of all trades. You see people fixing cars. Uh, you see people um, building cars. Um, there is literally no school for that. In fact, the fact of the matter is, when you need to fix a carburetor, you got to take it apart and you got to put it together again because you're not going to be paying money that you don't have. And that is that is that is a thing. And here, why am I going to pay? And I did ask D uh, years ago. I, I was like, sweetie, how much is a haircut? And uh, she's like, well, Billy, for for a man, I would say at least twenty dollars. And for a woman, uh, you know, low, low, dry, and all of that good stuff, she's like, I don't know, 60 bucks uh, minimum. And I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money. Um, so we do it to save money. And quite frankly, uh, she's like the type of girl who, who's like, you know what? I got, I, as long as my husband likes it, I'm okay with that. And I like it. So, um, but yeah. The whole idea that you have to be an expert to survive a collapse, that is not true. That is not true. When it comes to this type of things that you see on, on, on top of me, um, we go, we research, we fix. Cars, same thing. I haven't changed brakes in a long time. So I the other day I got the book out, you know, I started reading and I had to change the rotors, the pads, and I did the, uh, the whole thing on the brakes. And, you know, I had, I got a text uh, from a friend of mine. He's like, oh my God, you, you, you're jumping into that? I was like, yeah, why not? In Florida, many times people were like, oh my God, you're doing that? Why not? The thing here is the folks are scared to mess things up. Newsflash, you will mess things up, but that is the only way that you're going to learn. Not everything is going to be going to school to be taught something. If you go to school, you're going to have to pay. School costs money. If you get with somebody and that person is, you know, nice enough to teach you, take that. Take it. Take it because that knowledge costs money. Here's the thing. Back in the old days, the, where I come from, people will work for free in order to gain knowledge. They really would. Nowadays, nobody wants to do anything or get into an apprenticeship that they have to put in work in order to get choose the knowledge. They don't want to do that. When I was growing up, my grandfather uh, was extremely into hunting. Uh, pass on from generation to generation, tracking skills, shooting skills, trapping. Trapping was not that big of a deal. Uh, but he taught me how to make traps and whatnot natural, the natural way. Um, fishing, the same thing. Here, I had tried to pass on that knowledge to a few friends, very few friends, uh, and, and to tell you the truth. In fact, here in Alaska, I haven't been able to find somebody who actually wants to learn that. So I'm just like, all right, you know what, whatever. I have my son. I'm teaching him slowly. 
and I'm passing on all of this knowledge. People don't learn anymore the old-fashioned way. They think they're going on YouTube and getting a video for 10 net minutes. They become they become experts, and that's it. It takes a lot, a lot. I remember uh, one time I was with the last person that I that I that I was teaching in, in Florida, and uh, three times, three times we were tracking a. Uh, a whole bunch of deers and three times we hit the deers. We couldn't get any because they were all those uh, No, no bucks in there. So females No, no males. They were all females in there, but three times I got to be To like 15 yards away. I Was asked how you do this? I was like, well, I learned how to do this. I Learned how to do this and you know, this is something that I love but people nowadays Honestly, and I'm gonna be brutally honest they don't want to do none of that because they think that you are taking advantage of them. That is not the reality. The reality is that knowledge costs. You either pay in dollars or you pay in labor. That's just the way it is. And if not, you're going to pay in headaches. That's it. That's just the way it goes. Again, when it comes to a collapse, I want you just to consider this. And take everything that I say with a grain of salt. I was born and raised in Cuba, a third world country, a country that is still under a communist regime. We know how to do a whole bunch of stuff, but we are not experts on anything. With that being said, remember, experts is like animals who are specialists. If you remove that specialist, from that specific environment, that specialist <whistles> dies. So if you don't want to become extinct, like those animals who are specialists, then become a jack of all trades. Learn how to do a little bit of everything and don't become an expert on anything. That's my best advice to you. With that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I was Rogan, Pribon, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.